Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live, Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. I couldn't help but notice as I was looking at the chat here during the break that mm-hmm. everyone's talking about my vest today. Yeah. Someone said I was raiding my wife's closet. Mm-hmm. Well, first off, I was raiding my wife's closet. That's none of your business. Second off, it was chilly in here. I put the vest on. I didn't even think about it. And I started the show. Yeah. Well, now I'm going to mm-hmm. wear this vest the entire show. So get used to it. What's she going to wear then? How since you're dare you wardrobe? question my fashion sense? Why did you have to steal that from her? What, you don't have one? I just I put mean, a vest everybody's on. everybody's got a belt. I mean, I'm not impressed by your sitting yeah, there in the background. What's that there? This is my, uh, this is my former WEC uh, lightweight title uh, that I <laughs> lightweight. That, that I claimed. <laughs> it's just as, <laughs> let me tell you something. It's just lightweight. as prestigious. Just, <laughs> it's, it Bro, the issue is time, lightweight. That, clearly that's <laughs> someone else's belt. If it would have been heavyweight, I might have believed you. Well, it's, it's regardless of that. But seriously, why do you, do you not have vests there? You live in Washington State. I thought everybody was issued a vest and a plaid like shirt at some point in their lives. Why do you have to raid hers? Well, it was there. That's why, because I don't have a vest like this, and I was cold, and so I put this on. Now, what, you needed a vest like that. Would you feel like Bruiser Brody? Dude, today? I'm warm now. I feel great right now. Let's talk about the news, Mike, which is far more important than your. Belt. Mm-hmm. WWE champion Drew McIntyre has tested positive for COVID-19. WWE announced Monday afternoon he's been placed in quarantine. He was supposed to face Randy Orton in a non-title match on tonight's episode of Raw. WWE had also hyped McIntyre would address the challenge that was issued to Mike Goldberg on last week's Legends Night episode of Raw. We'll get into that in a minute. After McIntyre retained the WWE title against Keith Lee, Goldberg confronted him, etc., etc., so this is the first time, by the way, that WWE has publicly announced a member of their roster has tested positive for COVID-19. He's the champion. I mean, at this point, you kind of have to announce that he's got it because he's just going to vanish and there's no angle that can be shot. Now, there's a few things that I have to talk about here, and I don't know anything other than what's been posted. There was a story out today that there might be an outbreak that affected all companies, Okay. I could tell you that at this point, it does not appear that anybody has tested positive in AEW. So, With the, the next from Nick Jackson. Well, that was months ago, okay. but we're talking like now. There, there's nothing new in AEW, COVID related, as of today. Okay, How, does this affect SmackDown? Does this affect NXT? I have no idea. They've they've made one announcement, which is Drew McIntyre, which they ha- kind of have to because he may miss the Royal Rumble. He's the champion. He's supposed to, you're building Raw around him tonight, and he's not going to be there. He's not available to shoot an angle. So I presume that that's why they made this one official. My concern, obviously, is when did Drew come in contact with somebody? If he's showing symptoms, then that would mean that it was five days or more ago. And then the question becomes, is everybody okay that was there at Legends Night? There were a lot of older wrestlers there who would be in a concerning age group. And was Drew... Did Drew have COVID at that point? Is it possible that he was pre-symptomatic? 50% of spread, pre-symptomatic and asymptomatic. I mean, hopefully nobody else involved in WWE that was there, uh, got it as a result of this. And I'm not blaming Drew at all. I don't know where Drew got it. It could have been somebody that came to Legends Night and Drew got it from them. I don't know. Nobody knows. I don't have any contact tracing information. All I know is there were a lot of older people at Raw last Monday, and hopefully nobody got it. So that's what we know right now. And best wishes, obviously, to Drew McIntyre. And as noted, best wishes to Les Thatcher and Nick Jackson as well. Les Thatcher is is battling COVID. Found out about this when he did a show about it on Friday. It's on the front page of our website right now if you want to go up there and listen to it. Nick Jackson had it in the fall. And as I talked about during the break, this guy was bedridden for three weeks. He... Goes back to the show. They're setting up the FTR match, which they delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. He comes back. He has one 
match on television where he did virtually nothing and Matt did all the work. And his very next match was with FTR. They went out there and they tore the house down. They had one of the best tag team matches of all time. And then he was like gone for another month trying to continue recovering. So even if Drew McIntyre is healed and good to go in a few weeks, I mean, who knows what this guy's cardio is going to be like for the Royal Rumble. There's a lot of questions that we don't have answers to. But I can say best wishes to everybody because this sucks. Yeah, it does. Best wishes to everybody, especially Les Thatcher. Love that guy. Um, it, you know, it, just taking it into the fantasy realm here, away from real life, it does explain uh, why they did such wacky things with the Young Bucks. Like, it still doesn't really explain their their pseudo heel turn when they were super kicking everybody and throwing money around, but it does explain the alternate foot <laughs> that was there to, to super kick Shivani and and some of the stuff that took place around around there it does explain that you know in, in some ways they just like with Drew McIntyre sometimes I think with the reality that we're living in I know this is fantasy land but you know you're almost better off if you if your talent allows this and there's obviously HIPAA and things like that if they don't want it out there you don't put it out there but if they're okay with it I think you almost utilize it as part of a storyline you do you do have to kind of meld this in because you don't know when you're going to have a massive breakout or something's going to happen you know it's just this is a reality you can't avoid and i wonder if this is going to change the royal rumble up you know if this is something that lingers on for a while you know do we see a a change up to the rumble and you know there's a, a million different ways you can go when you're thinking about that scenario but it's one that i i think in the back of your mind obviously you hope drew gets better quickly but if he doesn't you know is this something where does goldberg win the rumble the, you know i just there's again it, it provides a, a lot of opportunity i guess for speculation if he does linger out longer well, I know, by the way, that we've got a new T-shirt available at our shop, uh, which actually I don't even know. I, for, I forgot the link to it because we haven't. F4WOnline.com slash shirts, I believe. I'll, I'll get it here in a moment. But the point is, if you go to our Pro Wrestling Tees shop, which should be easy to find if you go to Pro Wrestling Tees, we have a new Jim Valley shirt. So I encourage everybody to head up there and check it out. 100% of the proceeds will be going to... The great Jim Valley. It's awesome. Of course, we have a lot of other great shirts as well if you want to grab some of those. But the Jim Valley shirt in specific is brand new, and all of the proceeds go to Jim. So if you've been looking for another way to toss Jim a few bucks and have an awesome T-shirt on top of that, you can head up there, f4wonline.com slash shirts, I believe is the link. Wait a second, Brian. Did you say specific or pacific like the pacific rim podcast that he came back to alongside fumi saito and dave Meltzer to discuss the wrestle kingdom tokyo dome shows well i mean you could go up there and check that out right now the specific rim <laughs> but yeah they did that well, I, I was i was trying to pay attention but all these these nerds someone's <laughs> asking if they make this vest in like a men's dude if you like it just wear it whether it's men's or women's who cares that's if you like the vest put it on yeah it's 2021 baby what about the underwears actually once i was out of underwear and so i did in fact have to wear hers but you know what i'm cool with that hey. i had to wear underwear I'll it was judge. available I don't judge anybody. I'm from Baltimore. We created John Waters, for heaven's sakes. Judge no one. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.